This may look like a cute little plant, but this is actually a tree, and there's an art to growing these. It is called bonsai, and it is the art of growing trees in pots. Yeah, the Milwaukee Bonsai Society has existed for 44 years. Stephen Contney is the president and joins us this morning with some of his bonsai trees. Thanks for being here. Thanks. Uh, thanks for having me. Good I morning. love bonsai trees. I mean, it's something that I discovered from doing this show and having mm -hmm. people from your organization here is I, I think they're just absolutely beautiful. And mo once you learn more about them, you realize it's, it's truly a work of art. Yes, it's living art. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Walk us through kind of the three that you brought today because these are three that you um, own and have grown. And this one, the big one, is pretty much ready for show. It's up to what, how many years? 35 years? Yes, old? The, old, the oldest tree here is about 35 years old, and the younger trees are in the seven to eight year range. Um, I've, I've had these, uh, these trees in this pot for about three years now. Um, it's, it's nice and healthy. The color is good. What kind of tree is this? This is a Dawn Redwood. It's so, native to California. Okay, huh. so let's say you lived in California and this tree was growing in your backyard. Oh. How tall would a 35-year-old tree like this be in, in nature? Probably 35 foot tall. Wow. It's unbelievable because right mm -hmm. here it's about, was that three or Three feet or so? Yep, a little over three foot. Is it hard to grow them then outside of their native climate? Is that something that's, uh, that's typical? It's a little harder, although this, this is, is very uh, cold hardy. I mean, this, this, these trees live outside all year round. Really? Yes. I put them in the garage for the winter so just to protect them from the biting winds, mm -hmm. but it is winter hardy. Wow, what about this? As the others two here also, they live outside all year round. Yeah, let's talk about this one in the center. This one isn't what you consider yet full grown, right? No, it's, it's not full grown and it's not quite ready to show. I brought it to show sort of an intermediate uh, stage of its bonsai career. Uh, in the next year or so, I will put this into a, a pot that would be okay to show in. Mm -hmm. This is really a training pot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's no dirt in here. That's one thing Correct. you said is specific that it's all rock. Uh, it's all rocks. Yes, it's all all stone. Mm -hmm. And the reason we do this is that the, uh, the the roots just love the little sharp edges on the stone. Hmm. It's very easy for a root to grow through dirt. So there's not a lot of strength in the root. So as the root grows in and around the little stone, it's it's a little hardier. Mm -hmm. And if you have good healthy, hardy roots, you have a good, healthy, hardy tree. Isn't that true in life as well? Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. And this is because it's um, rock and, and no soil. If you have a bonsai tree like this, you need to water it daily. Yes, you do need to water daily in most cases. And in, in, and in really hot, dry weather, you should probably be watering twice a day. Mm. Are they fussy to, to grow and to maintain? Not if you water them. Okay. Can you grow a mini apple tree? Yes. You can? Yes, I have Will a... Will it bear fruit? I have a crab apple tree. No way! I, I can bring it next year. <laughs> that is so neat. Yes. So, so almost any kind of tree that you could plant in your yard, you could grow as a any, bonsai? Anything that will grow in a pot is a bonsai. Wow, and this one is what kind of tree? Because this, this is beautifully green this, and luscious. This is, this is a Japanese black pine, mm -hmm. and this is very young in its bonsai career. It has a long way to go. Um, the reason I brought it today is because it's pretty side. healthy. Nice Does it start as a, a branch? Do you plant a branch, or how do you keep them so small? Is it about the manicuring? These are these are, are uh, just normal normal trees. Uh, if if you wouldn't do anything to them, they would grow up nice and big, like like the redwood trees here. If you planted each one of these in the ground in 400 years, you would have a tree this big. Mm -hmm. Good. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. Now you have a, um, a big exhibit coming up at Burner Botanical um, that's happening at the gardens. It's your 43rd annual 43rd exhibit, right? 43rd annual, annual, annual exhibit, yes. And people and say beautiful creations like the ones we're looking at in these yes. photographs, Love that. right? Yes. We'll have about 70 of our club members best trees on formal display. They're so serene. There's something about them that really kind of elicit that, that sense of tranquility looking at these trees in such small form. Mm -hmm. You've got the 43rd annual, as Molly mentioned, going on at Burner Botanical Gardens September 20th through the 22nd. You can also learn more about the Milwaukee Bonsai Club by visiting their website. It's milwaukeebonsai.org. I know that you have um, introductory courses for people who would like to learn more about growing and learning and 
becoming a part of the organization itself. So thanks so much for being here. Thanks very much for having me. Nice Beautiful. to have you. Beautiful a big trace. master from California who you're mm -hmm. honored to have will yes. be there too. Yes. Great. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. All right. Coming